Hey there, this is Michelle Knight. This is the astrological update for Gemini for the week starting the 10th of March. Now, this is quite an intense and tricky week this week because we kicks off with a ground water trine and then your ruler is partaking in a T-square. On the one hand, you want to expand, you want adventure, but you might feel as if you're tied to responsibilities or certain things in your life are not allowing you to go after what you want. I think the key is patience. The T-square will not be around forever and freedom will come. But what can that T-square teach you? It teaches you really all about emotional communication and looking after yourself. There may have been a time in your life where you felt unable to share emotionally and now you're feeling very enthusiastic where there's a part of you that still has self-protection. Whatever it is, look deep within yourself for the answer. And there should be a really big healing and clearing of that energy, allowing you to have the adventure and the fun and the desire that you deserve and that you desire. We also have a lot of spontaneous activity this week. Uranus is allowing everybody to have the unexpected happen to them and things are getting, going to get shaken up and adventure is afoot. The mystic rectangle at the end of the week is opening you up to a real healing and not only a healing within your soul about your emotions, but also about your career. You're bringing to the surface new creative ideas with meaning and with depth and with purpose. The full moon on the 16th is asking you to look at your connection to your home and your family. You should get some incredible insights and intuitions about your home and family and there could be an aha moment. Most importantly this week, look after yourself, have faith, take the impulsive situations that arise this week and enjoy it. But understand that you're probably not communicating as well as you could because Mercury in that T-square is making you feel a little bit restricted. Take care, I send you much love and I'll speak to you soon.